Okay, I think everything's good to go. So let me explain what's going on. I'm actually going to kill the sound again real quick. All right, I am taking part in the Desktop Dungeons Streamer Challenge. And keep in mind, guys, I am still getting over the flu, so I'm going to sound a little different, and I'm going to try not to cough too often. So if I mute myself, that is why, like right now. And I hope that muted. If not, well, you guys are all deaf. Anyhow, um, basically, they're getting a free update to Desktop Dungeons pretty soon. And they are trying to let us wonderful streamers compete with one another. However, this Tornus guy apparently is a professional shark for Desktop Dungeons. And he just crushes everyone's soul. So I'm probably going to lose to him. But I'm going to give it my best shot. I've only played, like I said, maybe an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. And actually, I played a lot of the same stuff over and over and over and over and over again. Simply put, well, the game wasn't saving. I don't know. I think it has to do with this particular challenge being tied into the account. Anyway, long story short, it didn't save. So I played a lot of the same stuff over and over and over again. All right, so today's challenge is earn the most piety in the Berserker camp as an elf priest. So let's go see if I can make a fool of myself and get crushed. If you guys are curious, and I imagine some of you are, what I'm talking about for the streamer challenge, I'm going to post the link in chat right now. And if you guys want to go take a look at that, feel free to do so. And we will get going. We'll get going right now. Okay. Do the daily challenge. Oh gosh. Okay. This incomplete report record needs to be verified to complete your kingdom's audit, please. Blah, 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 blah. Please uh, complete these daily assignments diligently to ensure accuracy. Rumors persist of a dark cult operating from the ruins of an ancient monastery in the frozen waste. A hero is needed to disband them. Disband may be interpreted as slaughter where appropriate. Alright, so apparently we're going to be a dwarf assassin. And we are going to... Actually, this might be a new one. Hmm. I might have missed yesterday's thing. It took me so long to get everything in order, I may have actually missed it. Let me update the page real quick and see. Well, it still says the... Well, I guess I'm going to be doing tomorrow's or the next day's thing. I missed it, guys. I'm sorry. All right. So, I don't know what I'm actually doing here for this. But apparently, we are going to be doing the Dwarf Assassin. And we need to get... Or they get one max health bonus for every 80 conversion points. Uh, a poison blade starts with the a feel sick <laughs> glyph. Uh, gains 40% bonus damage to poisoned enemies. Starts with minus 20% bonus damage. Light footed. Exploring the area around a monster gives the player first strike. Okay. Swift hand attacking a lower level monster always grants an instant kill. This will overwhelm every other status effect in the game. And I have these options to bring with me. Now, I have absolutely no idea how to play this game at a high level, so it's all for fun, guys. Um, I'm probably going to get crushed, but that's okay. It's a burning strike. Um, striking an enemy sets it on fire. Uh, transmutation seal use on a target item or dungeon wall to transmute it into its equivalent gold value and gain a percentage bonus to your next conversion. Huh. Doesn't work on lead items. And then what is this? It was a glyph from the default dungeon layout. But all glyph conversion values are increased. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, eh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I need to actually be doing for this one. Oh, well. That's a bit rough. It's a bit rough. Maybe it's just kill as many enemies maybe that's maybe that's a challenge i'm not sure guys i'm not sure all right let's hop in here and i guess i'll get that uh grows slightly red when worn offering 10 maximum hit points remove some power-ups and weaker monsters around the map and transfers them into a special sub dungeon near your starting position interesting hmm or a handy self-defense tool which happens to smack other things around Okay, what else do we have? The blue bead, the alchemical properties of these beads are a jealous guarded secret. Jealously guarded secret. Replenishes one mana per experience kill. Oh, nice. Uh, guarantees glowing guardian's altar will spawn, but greatly reduces his per level piety gain. Do you like the, those items Bezar is pulling from thin air? 
Offer some gold and I'm sure we can increase the likelihood of elite and bizarre items being sold in shops. Hmm. Turog guarantees Turog's altar will spawn but makes all enemies cowardly. Jehora's altar will spawn, inventory slot, and the market value of this dungeon's boss trophy is increased. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with this, and I'm probably going to go with that. Alright, let's see if I get wrecked. Let's see if I get wrecked, and let's hope it's not super duper quick. Alright, so this is how the game plays out, folks, for those of you who have never played it before. It's a roguelike game, but it's kind of unique. It's not exactly the same as all other roguelike games. And the fact that if you get hit or you use mana, the only way to replenish that, well, there's a few ways, but one of the ways to replenish that is by exploring additional tiles that you don't see. So, if I want to have bonus first strike capabilities against him, I'd explore all tiles around him. So, I'm going to do that. And down he went, and apparently there's a Zambia that spawned as well. And we're going to trade blows with him, and down he goes. There we go, we got back a little bit of health there for exploring that tile. And we're going to pick this up! And it's going to be sweet, sweet, nice. Alright. We're going to pick this up as well. And for... I'm going to also post this on YouTube, so if anyone is watching this on YouTube... Hello, welcome, greetings, welcome to the free show and all that wonderful fun stuff that I normally do. I'm going to be pretty much recording this and streaming it and putting it on YouTube all in kind of like one fell swoop. So for those of you who are wondering what's going on, there's basically a streamer challenge going on right now where we compete with one another trying to get the highest score and those who vote for the person with the highest score have a chance to win a free Steam key of desktop dungeons, basically. So that's pretty much what it is. And there is rules and things that you need to follow in order to win this stuff. And I will have all that information down below in the description of the video on YouTube. There'll be a link to a website that explains it. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, there's some piety to be gained over here. And there's a black altar. The Pact Maker. I have no idea what this is all about. Every time you level up, the Pact Maker will overheal you and add the uh, biceps effect in exchange for 10 piety. Huh. Every time an XP valuable enemy dies, the Pact Maker will reward your bravery with one maximum health at the cost of three piety. That's interesting. Well, I'm going to gather up a bunch of piety right now. What do we have here? Uh, uncovers three random dungeon tiles without regenerating monsters. Lose three health per level, but gain one mana per revealed tile? That doesn't seem like a very good thing. Uh, wanna fight? <laughs> Summons a monster over to you. And gives them second strike capabilities as opposed to first strike. And a bunch of other various things that are probably pretty good. I feel sick. Uh, poison your target, halting the regeneration for ten health per character level. Does not affect undead. Alright, I'm going to get rid of this skill, and we're going to gain that. I'm not sure what that nets us, necessarily. Oh, we get a health bonus, okay. Cool. Alright, right now we can't really deal with the level 2, 3, 8, or 5 guy. We could probably deal with the 2. In fact, we might even be able to deal with the 2 right away. If we hit him, we'll be safe. We'll do 6 damage. We should be able to... Well, if we used a potion, we'd be able to kill him, but... Otherwise, probably not. I'm going to hit him. Wow, we actually knocked him back. I'm going to go and do that, and I'm going to come back, and there we go. We killed him, and then he spawned a zombie. And we're going to drop the zombie, and down he goes. So that's some decent experience. Actually, very little experience. We only have two experience out of five, even though we just killed a level two guy. That seems a bit odd. I'm not 100% certain what's going on here. Are none of these actually real? No, they are real. Okay. And I think we just poisoned ourselves, didn't we? Let's see here. Yep. Cannot regenerate health through exploration. Well, that was probably not my best move. And I do apologize for that. Let's see here, um, I guess we're going to have to replenish our health through a potion. 
which actually cured my problem, so that's good. Hey Dale, how's it going? Uh, let's see here. I am so bad at this game, I wish I had a little bit more time to practice before I jumped into the challenge, but hey, you know what? It's all about having fun and just enjoying the game, so it's all good. It's all good. Alright, so we dropped that guy. We got another little baby bit of experience there. Not super great. This should... No, still won't level me. But this guy should level me up here. And there we go. We are now level 2, so we can handle maybe a little bit stronger folks. I'm not sure. It's not looking good. I'm not going to lie. The Hero's Helm. 1 magic point, 5 hit points, and 2 damage. We don't really have room right now for it. Unless we wanted to sell some other additional things. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, well, we're going to move it that way. And I guess we'll come over here and we'll explore a little bit more. There's a level 3 individual there. Alright, a damage bonus. That's good. And a health buff. And another one. And an easy kill there. And it looks like there's some more mana, and then whatever this, or, uh, sorry, piety. There's a mana potion that we will pick up. It'll become rather pious here, gathering all the piety. Let's see what this is all about. We can worship Bin uh, Binlor Iron Shield. And I'm not sure what any of this stuff does. Stone soup need to upgrade your tools for a moderate investment. Binlor will provide you with Endis Wall. Okay. Glyph to perform your work more effectively. And I'm not sure... There's supposed to be certain things that you, you do that makes people happy with you. Hmm. Reap the rewards of your labor. Bin Lore will destroy three revealed dungeon walls for you and convert them to charges of stone skin. This boon grants 3% magic resistance. Interesting. Well, I don't know much about the piety system in this game yet, unfortunately, folks. I have tried to spend a little bit of time playing to get a little less terrible, but eh, it is not, not going super well. Sorry, Dale, that you're having problems with Twitch Mobile. It's probably the fact that I'm still a small-time streamer, and I'm not getting very far with it, especially considering I don't stream very often anymore, and it doesn't come out in multiple ways, multiple different... Um, what is it? Graphical qualities, I guess you could say. Oh good, I'm glad you're here. I was just sitting around a little earlier thinking, wow, wouldn't it be cool if some idiot hero just barged into my lair, slaughtered my minions, and ruined my carefully planned ceremony? Yeah, exactly that. And now you're here. But as much as you've just made a horrendous nuisance out of yourself, stealing your soul shall be more or shall more than compensate. Hold still while I make you die. Polite regards, Anubis of the Coat Lutal. Alright, well, Anubis the Cult Leader, I'm not quite ready to die just yet. Probably fairly close, but not quite yet. Alright, a little bit more piety, and then what is this one? Dracul. Okay. Blood Curse. Age and Wither. Your character's level number will artificially increase by one, granting no stat bonus. This will give you 20 piety. Huh. Uh, may your body shrivel in Dracul's service. This boon will lower your maximum health by 5 points, granting the Sanguine, sanguine ability. 5% health from blood pools, okay, and 1 base damage. Additionally, our additional boon requests increase piety returns. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I really... I probably should actually read up on the game a little bit more because it's hard to get super knowledgeable about the game. Ah, here we go. Oh, look at you. Yeah, that's not okay. Well, Dale, guess what, buddy? You're gonna have to become my uh, OP user and keep people like that from doing things. Okay. Behave yourself, Dale. And moderate with with passion or something, I don't know. Alright, so, continuing on with the Desktop Dungeons Streamer Challenge, 
I am probably doing pretty terrible already, but that's okay. I've accepted this and I've moved on. Okay, we're all, we're doing okay-ish. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna go see what this one is. Sidestep grants a layer of death protection. Oh, I don't know what that does necessarily, but okay. Probably means I'm able to make more mistakes without dying a horrible death. And I'm okay with that. Alright, what else we have? Um, and we're still safe to hit him. And we'll actually win this. Okay. And we leveled. Well played, Bumpy. Thank you. Thank you. It was pretty well played. Especially considering I don't really don't know what I'm doing yet. Like, I have a basic understanding of the game, but I do not have the and all be all knowledge that I need to become victorious in this wonderful, wonderful competition. It's okay, though. It's okay. Is there a frozen person in the wall there? What is that? That's interesting is what it is. Okay, so there's shops all over the place. There are a few uh, downstairs places. Ooh, the fireball. I do like that. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to get rid of a sidestep, which is probably a horrible mistake. I'm, I'm acknowledging that now. Like, I imagine it's a pretty big deal to get rid of that foolishly. So, keep in mind that I am aware that that's probably not my best move. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll burn him and smack him. We'll hit him. We'll hit you. And drop you. Kill the zombie that pops out of your little body there. Alright, we're up to 9 out of 15. Alright, well. These guys are level 3, so in theory. We should be able to drop a full. Or two. There we go. Alright, we hit level four, which is nice. Are we still poisoned? It does not appear that we are. Very good. Well, let's go take a look at... Let's get rid of the zombie first, I suppose. And down he goes. Very good. Very nice. And next up, we're going to go kill this guy down here. And his zombie brethren that has popped out of his dead carcass. And I think we're going to go down the stairs and see what's in the next passage. Apparently there is a blood fountain here. Do we wish to drink from it? That sounds like a very, very bad thing to drink from. But, not knowing what I'm doing, I'm going to say yes. It sounds good. Wait, seriously, this stuff is definitely blood, you know? Yeah, as you drink from the fountain, you feel a growing hunger for life force. I don't know what that means, but it sounds bad. Regain 5% HP by drinking blood. Well, that sounds useful. Or terrible. One of those two things is probably true. Okay, well, I that maybe that was good. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, what is this? Hey Norman, here's the sacrificial goat you were looking for. It's been pre-configured for ceremonial slaughter. So go ahead and kill it when you have a moment, Frank. Intriguing. Interesting. Ooh, there is a... Oh, yeah. Let's kill us a goat. You hear a chorus of agonized screams coming from upstairs. It's probably nothing. That doesn't sound good, actually. I wonder if that's a bad thing that we just did. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Apparently, I can't do anything about the blood. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. I spawned a bunch of shades, apparently. Okay. Um, what level are we? We're four, so we can go after a couple of these. That's probably good, right? Like, more than likely it's good. Oh, we murdered him straight up. Nice. Oh, no, we tele he teleported? Okay. Yeah, they, apparently they teleport. Well, we chased them down. We're pretty close to being able to level up again. I think I'm going to go over here and I'm going to lead with... Hmm. I'm going to chug a potion. I think I'm going to lead with my poison attack. Oh, that doesn't work on undead. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. 
and the win and that brought us up to level five so we should be able to actually deal with level five people at this point which is sweet sweet nice so the time I competed with uh, one of the guys uh, they had a score about ten times higher than mine so yeah I'm definitely not on par with a lot of these others but I actually really really like this game guys I'm gonna do a first look and everything about the game later on of course by then you'll already see it so maybe the first look will be a moot point but this is definitely something I wouldn't mind streaming in the future or even playing on the channel if we ever get a moment's respite or break as it were all right let's let's go smack this guy there we go okay we drank a pool of blood we can actually continue to do this apparently yeah we get our health back just by drinking blood that doesn't sound unsanitary at all Okay, um, hmm, how close are we? We're not that close to leveling, so we do need to suck up a little bit more of bloody blood. And we'll burn this guy down. And if we attacked him right now, it would probably end in our death. So, let's go drink some more. Actually, that might be a mistake. Okay, and we will get first strike, and there it is. We survived it. We're fairly close to being able to level up, though it's looking like that might not be a viable option. Alright, so what we're going to do is drink a potion. Uh, refreshes one mana per experience kill, huh? Okay. Well, we're getting there, I suppose. Slowly but surely. The heal up again. And I think what I'm going to have to do is kill one of these level 6 guys. So let's come down here, and we'll burn him with fire, twice, which we can't do. We'll drink some mana potion, well, now we'll burn him with fire, and then we'll kill him. Yeah, now we're level 6, okay. So definitely not looking super good. We do have some piety, so maybe we should start figuring out what we want to use. We have 19 piety. Blood curse, may your body shrivel. No. Let's go here. What is this one? Stone soup. Eh. We could go with that, I suppose. This boon will destroy 15 revealed dungeon walls and lower the resistances of visible enemies on the current dungeon level by 5%. This boon will grant 3% magical resistance. Or, well, I guess that's really about it. So let's... Okay, we're going to worship this guy. There we go. And I don't know what that is. Looks pretty cool, though. Push an enemy back by one tile. Deal 60% base damage if the target hits a wall. Or 50% if it hits another enemy. No cast failure unless immune. Interesting. Interesting. And what does this do? Those who shape the stone eventually become the stone. This boon will destroy 10 revealed dungeon walls and grant you the mighty ability every time another wall gets destroyed. Huh. Okay, and if we had the piety... Oh, we might actually have the piety to get this. Let's do that then. Alright. So what are we going to get rid of, I guess, is the question we should be asking ourselves. I think we should get rid of... Hmm. It's a tough one. If I had to say the I feel sick, eh, let's get rid of that. I know I've used that a little bit, but I think the destroying wall thing is going to be better, and I'm actually going to get rid of this as well. I'm going to pick it up, but I'm going to sell it. There we go. We're going to pick this one up. And now we should be able to break into any walls that we want, but let's go around and do some uh, murder, shall we? Alright, so let's do some fire murder here. And he teleported way over there, but that's okay. And he's way down there, and now he's a Dunskies. Alright, we'll come here and we'll break open this wall. And we are getting a little bit more piety, I like that. Feeling a bit more pious. Okay, I don't know what's there. Do we have enough to break into that wall? Let's go check it out. Did we kill the person or help them? I don't I don't know if that was good or bad. I really have no idea. 
I'll assume it was good. I'll assume it was good. Alright, well, we hit the shade. If we hit the shade, it'll... Yeah, I think we'll be okay. And that should kill him. Then we can go leech some life back off of the blood of our fallen foes. We're probably getting pretty... No, we're actually not even halfway. So we're probably getting fairly close to leveling up, but no, we're not really that close at all. Alright, those who shape it... Um, destroy 15. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. Get some walls back. That got me a little bit more piety. I like it. Um, oh, we'll do it again, I guess. I can't keep doing it, though. I guess we don't get piety back from destroying walls that way. Well, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. All right. Well, let's do this, and let's do this, and let's go after the level 7, shall we? Okay, we hit him, we'll hit him again, and we've killed him. Yay, us. Yay, us. Alright, um, I'm pretty sure we can't handle the zombie. Yeah, I think that's about it, folks. I don't think we can go any further. I think I have pretty much exhausted all of my potential moves here, and unfortunately, well, not much came of it. I, I gotta say, I'm not super great at this game. Said it before, I'll say it again. I'm not great. Um, we can use a fireball, but I we can't do another one, and it looks like that is going to kill us. So, unless there's some sort of magical... Oh, there is some health potions and stuff here. Nice. Strength potion, okay. Very cool. Oh, but we can only buy one, huh? Okay. That's intriguing. A troll heart. Proves your health gained by two every time you level up. That's pretty neat. Plate mail. A suit of metal plates known in some regions as armor grants two damage reduction per character level. But its, our, its weight slows our attack speed. A badge of honor. A warrior's mark which adds 10% bonus damage. It can be used to provide death protection. Destroys the I the item. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I think we're we're just about it. A removable magical tattoo which painfully binds itself to a host, adding a f adding five to maximum health and boosting regeneration, while lowering damage by ten percent. That doesn't sound super great. Um. Well, I suppose at this point. There's not much left for us to do other than that and go for the me getting killed here. Alright folks, that's going to do it. My score is going to be recorded. You didn't win, but don't despair. You're clearly getting better. You did blah 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 blah. Yay! I used six items, which is better than my... or near as good as my previous seven. I got 71 piety, better than my 10, and I killed 31, better than my 25. So, we got better, I guess. That's pretty much going to do it, so we'll see what happened here. We grabbed all these items, and we killed these guys in this random order, and then it shows the level ups and everything else. And, eh, you know, it is what it is. I probably made a <laughs> derp. <laughs> I probably made some terrible choices down in this region for my starting stuff, but, eh, it is basically what it is. Alright, let's go uh, take a look at the leaderboard. And I am not officially there, but I'm pretty sure I did not get to where I needed to be. And that's okay. That is okay. So we're going to go to continue. And it just messed everything up. Hold on. Sorry, guys. There we go. And now we're actually in my kingdom, which, as you guys can see, is pretty bare bones right now. But that's pretty much going to do it for this particular stream, this particular daily challenge. I'll be back tomorrow at some random time. I don't actually know when specifically, but I'll stream it and I'll also post it on YouTube. And if you guys are on and you want to check it out, you want to shout out or something, feel free to message me in the Twitch chat. But other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. So 
I'll have all the information down below in the description of the video and I might even add it as a comment as well on YouTube of where to go to check out the different or the uh, the desktop dungeons streamer challenge and how you can get involved with that and everything else. The way folks it's gonna do it for me. Thanks for stopping by the free show and I will see you next time with more desktop dungeons. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums and I will see you later.